Podcast. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Turn away from your marijuana smoke. Turn away from your lust. Turn away from your cigarette smoke. Turn away from your adulteries. Turn away from your sex before marriage. Turn away from your lukewarmness. Or else you will not enter the kingdom of heaven, says the Lord Jesus Christ. If you smoke marijuana, that is considered drunkenness. You will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. For no drunkards shall, ha shall have any inheritance in the kingdom of heaven, says the Lord Jesus Christ. If you look at someone with lust, you are committing adultery in your heart. That is adultery when you look at someone with lust. Sex before marriage is also considered adultery. It is also fornication. Turn to Jesus Christ before it is too late. John 3, 3 through 8 says you must be born of water and of the Spirit, or else you will not even enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus' words in red says you must be born of water and of the Spirit, or else you will not even enter the kingdom of heaven. All power was given unto Jesus by the Father in heaven and in earth. All power was given unto Jesus Christ. Therefore, you must be baptized in his name, fully submerged in water, in the name of Jesus Christ. But you must first believe the gospel. You must first believe the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You must believe that Jesus came in the flesh, that God came in the flesh, sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him can come to true repentance and be saved. But those who continue in willful sin after they have a knowledge of God, after they have a, a knowledge of God, and after they are born again and they backslide and continue in willful sin. Jesus says there's no backsliders are fit for the kingdom of heaven, says Jesus. That's why we must strive. We must strive to seek the Lord Jesus Christ. We must strive to live for Jesus. We must deny our flesh daily. Deny ourselves daily. Pick up, our, pick up the cross daily and follow Him, says the Lord Jesus Christ. He says we should deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow Him. Those who are unable to deny themselves and pick up their cross and follow Him daily, Cannot, cannot even be fit to call themselves disciples. He says if we deny, we deny ourselves, deny the things of this world, and pick up our cross daily, not just one day, not just two days, daily, then we can call ourselves his disciples. You must come to true repentance. Not just partial repentance, true repentance. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You can find that in Acts chapter 238. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. For the remission of sins. And receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We must strive to practice what we preach. For the preachers out there, we must strive to practice what we preach. Beware of temptations. And know that we are sent into the midst of wolves. We are sheep sent in the midst of wolves. And we, we must endure all doctrine. All doctrine. All sound doctrine with all long suffering. Know that when we go out there in the midst of bulls, we are expected, we are expected to be persecuted, expected to be spit upon, expected to be hated, mocked. But know that God has us, no matter what happens. 
Know that God has us. Strive then to the kingdom. Truly be born again. We know not tomorrow, we know not what tomorrow brings. We know not what tomorrow brings. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy God's children. Therefore, we must resist the devil. Pray, pray constantly and earnestly to God to help us to resist the devil. Because we are living in the end times. The Antichrist is already here. The Antichrist is already here. And he's trying to kill God's children. He is trying to, the devil is trying to kill the children of God. And we must resist the devil so that he may flee. Resist him. Pray daily. Pray honestly to Jesus Christ. Ask him to help us to resist. We know not what tomorrow brings for each day has troubles of its own. That is why we must pick up our cross daily. Yes, we may have lived for God today, but we also must strive to, to live to God, live for God tomorrow. Live each day like it like Jesus is about to return. Leave, live each day for Jesus like it's our last day. For we are living in the last days. All the signs are fulfilling itself. All the signs of Matthew chapter 24 are fulfilling itself. So we must strive to resist temptation. I'm not only speaking to the unbelievers. I'm speaking to those that, who claim, who profess Jesus with their lips, but do not give God their whole heart. Do not give, they do not give Jesus their whole heart. I'm also speaking to the lukewarm Christians who have one foot inside the church and one foot outside the church. I'm not only here for the unbelievers. I am here for the lukewarm Christians who live in their sin, who try to justify their sin. I am here for the lukewarm Christians who defend the sinners, who defend those who continue in willful sin and are proud of their sin. You won't find me defending no willful sinner. I am here. I am here to warn. I am here to warn and persuade the wicked of their wicked ways. I am also here to warn the righteous that the righteous should strive to sin not. For those who are truly born of God cannot sin, says the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are truly born of God does not sin daily, does not willfully commit sin daily. Those who are truly born of God. Not everyone who enters into, into the into, enters into the day of judgment and says unto him, Lord, Lord, haven't we prophesied in your name? Haven't we done all these miracles in your name? And Jesus will say unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. So if those if those people who, who said unto him, Lord, Lord, were told that Jesus never knew him. Obviously, they believed in Jesus, but what did they lack? What did those people that uh, came under the day of judgment and said, Lord, Lord, what did they lack? They had to have lacked something. Did they lack a knowledge of God? Were they practicing what they claimed they believed? Were they living, living one day for Jesus and choosing another day to live for their flesh? Ask yourself, we must, we must strive and we must daily, every day we wake up, pray to God and ask Him to search our hearts daily. We must ask God to search our hearts daily. There's many temptations in this world. And we must strive, strive every day to resist those temptations to the best of our ability. We must pray earnestly to Jesus Christ. Pray earnestly. Pray earnestly. I am mainly here for the Christians. Today I am not here for the unbelievers. 
But if an unbeliever approaches me and asks me a question, then I'll, I'll gladly.